What's up, it's Cas Hamid here. How are you guys doing today? And in this video, it's uh, we're gonna be looking at the demonic flare on. Now, the best prefix that you could possibly get is godly. However, I chose demonic because of its critical hit and damage increase. So we are gonna be using our where is it right here? Demonic flare on dealing 95 damage and it spawns homing spews homing bubbles, which I believe personally to be one of the best weapons in the game. I used this in 1.2.4 as my melee weapon a lot because it was just really good and really tanky and it was really tanky it could take out a lot and it is really is just really overpowered now this is dropped by duke fish on and the couple pros for this weapon as you can see are i don't even have to aim at the enemy and the bubbles will still go which is why i do this to get the more length that um the demonic flare on gets the more bubbles come out and the more bubbles go in home which is probably the best thing you can do because the majority of the time you're going to be doing most of your damage with the bubbles which to be honest isn't a bad thing because these bubbles do do a lot and a lot of damage now one con is that if you are doing this there is a pretty severe wait time you have to wait before you can especially if you're using it long range however if you use this thing at close range it is pretty Used. Now, one thing I do want to say about this is that I don't know, but um, I think the bubbles can go through um, walls. Well, at least their explosion can, because they will pop if they do hit that. But there have been in in mm, instances. Where I've actually been doing this, and if it's a one block hole and I'm standing on top of it, that it will actually, um, it will actually do what I just said. It will go through a wall and it will actually hit enemies. And this happened in the jungle versus, I believe, a beehive. And this was in 1.3, so I was using it recently. So I don't know if that's just a glitch or maybe I got really lucky because I do know that in some cases, if you're up against the wall. Your projectiles can go through that wall. Um, I haven't tested it, but I do know it for a fact because it does work with the Terra Blade. I was about to say the Death Sickle, but then I just realized that the Death Sickle goes through walls. Um, the Knight's Edge, or the True Knight's Edge. And then a couple other weapons, obviously. And pretty much any weapon in hard mode that has a projectile come out of it that isn't already supposed to go through walls can go through walls, I think, if you are close enough to a wall. And I do, again, I don't know if this is a glitch or if maybe I get lucky because I do know that sometimes, at least when I was testing, when I was testing the North Pole, the spear did travel a while uh, before actually for, um, launching a projectile. So there's always that, but... All in all, this weapon is extremely good, and I have no complaints about this weapon, mostly because I've used it so much, and I already know how to use it, and it doesn't take any getting used to for me, just because, you know, I've used this in the past, and I know um, how to use it properly, but um, I could recommend if you were going for this, because it is a very good weapon, um, always aim above the enemy don't even need to hit them like as what i'm doing right now due to the fact due to the fact i don't know why i keep saying that because of the fact could be saying because of the fact that if it does go over it will still release a lot more bubbles which attack your enemies which ends up doing i think a lot more damage than base attack yeah the base attack does around 80 90 damage ish per actual um hit Whereas if you just did this, you'll be doing a little bit less, but because you'll be hitting it more, you do around 300, I want to say, damage. Maybe even more, as you can see. But that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like, favorite, and subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next episode.